Classics back with another guide video. I do not really like this outfit, but I think once I have the entire full set, which is literally the top piece that goes on the top, the little ruby, this outfit will probably be amazing. But until then, I don't like it. You die too easily. And But this is not the whole guide video right here. No, this has nothing to do with the guide video. In this video, as you guys can see in the title, it's all about movement about cancellations, about extending stuff. And what I'm talking about is being able to move way better in the game. But before you can maneuver really good in the game, cause I'm trying to help you guys get better at the game. That's why I like doing guides. Either help you get better, help you beat bosses, help you figure out combos, and so on. And one of the things I recommend for you guys to do in here, you go to your game settings, uh, I believe it's controls camera sensit sensitivity I can't talk um, I think for you guys it's usually like here or here no those camera angles movements and all that too damn slow this is too damn slow for those who play games like Call of Duty and stuff like that you want this to be at freaking I, I can't say max for most people some people can't handle that movement but you want it way faster than the speed of 10 on here. Speed of 10 on here feels like the normal default for Call of Duty. Anyways, you want it on 10 for your camera angles. I'm gonna take you guys into the training room. Why? Well, honestly, it's probably gonna be the easiest way for me to show you stuff. There's a whole bunch of you guys that probably don't even know this is even a thing. Because not everybody follows me on Twitch or a whole bunch of people on Twitch. And I don't even say everyone on Twitch knows how to do this proper either. Oh, I hate this outfit. The reason why I also like this outfit is because it's a really good outfit for healers. Okay. Let's start. If you basics. have those entire full set. And it's only because you can move fast, you get substitutions fast, and if you have the top headpiece, you can heal yourself really good really good combined with the stats of the clothing so when you're almost dead with the full stat of the clothing you literally could just throw oh i can't do anything right now next is wall running try running up that cliff this is what if i want to show you guys toward, most of you guys to run up the side hold on let me let him finish talking first Check. see this game teaches you the bare minimum of the game this It's kind of slow. You really want to do, you know, this chocolate jump plus your jump at the same time. Because if you do it at the same time, you go so much faster. You could do it off the walls and everything. That's a little thing I want to teach you guys. The proper way to move fast and jumping around. Because just pressing X, it makes you, it looks like it's kind of fast, but it's really not. But when you press it with the X and R2, that's the one with the Chaka jump. You could maneuver so much more faster. I'm just saying, same with the Kunai. You can do it to launch off. Otherwise, if you just press the normal way, where you just do this and then press X, you can't jump right away. You have to wait. See? That kind of slows you down. That little seconds. It's literally a second difference. But those seconds of a difference could save you and make you move so much faster. Because each of those little seconds adds up. Some people learn could do... There's more techniques than just this. I just want to teach you the basics of cancellations. And this is one type of cancellation. The whole hitting people with the weapon. If you guys seen some of my clips and my videos, how I just do this over and over... It's the same thing with the chakra jump. The chakra, chakra, oh my god, chakra jump combined with the swing, you could spam the crap out of it over and over and over. If you're faster with it, it'll be better. But not only that, if you lock on to people and you use your analogs, oops, you use your analog stick to move around, you would sidestep all around your opponent doing that. That's another thing that th that I think is pretty neat. Looks like you know how to control your chakra properly. No, not the way you teach us. You can use those to jump even farther distances. 
I'm sorry, Kakashi. But they could have made you a better teacher in this game. I want to teach them. I consider a lot of people noobs in this game just because of movement. Be just because they depend on instant kills. They don't know how to use all the combos to the best. There's a lot of moves people won't want to touch because they consider it garbage. When you want to cross a wide valley, just use a wire cooler. I like how it shows you that way. If it seems like you're gonna fall off the cliff. But you really could just go across like this. I don't know why he shows you that way. Can you imagine if they left the whole open gap like that? Look, this is what I'm talking about. When you're close to your opponent, you could sidestep around your opponent. I like that. That's how I used to dodge people a lot. Those are little things I wish this game teaches you. It just tells you the default. I wish there was like advanced training, expert training, insane training. And when you're locked on someone, that's the only way you can maneuver like that. Because you cannot maneuver at all when it's on the green lock. Green lock is the auto lock when it's to an enemy, but if it's on the red lock, that's when you're locked on to your opponent, like officially locked on. That's when you get additional commands, where you can literally sidestep all around your opponent. And in order to do all these moves, you literally have to be holding the block. You have to hold the block to dodge your opponent. You could do this to do your combos, and you can do this also to block your opponent's attacks. Same with the backflips, same with the quick dash forward. Backflips and quick dash forwards dodges kunais. Sometimes, if you could time it right, you might be able to dodge certain jitsus. But when it comes to dodging jitsus, some of them you can't block at all because if you hold the block and get hit, it might break your guard. So you just gotta know which jitsus to do it with. Same when it comes to this. Some jitsus can never hit you when you're kind of a distance. Every time someone shoots like a model of fireball, you literally could just do this. You do not need to be locked on. You just need to quick dash out of the way. Little things like that I wanted to teach you guys in this little video. Go to sleep. See, it tells you to guard and reflect. But it doesn't teach you about sidesteps, backflips, and front dash. Those also protect you from a lot of things. This game doesn't teach you that. Like you literally could just be all around your opponent dodging. Certain moves you cannot block from sidestepping just because it has a wider range. Don't forget to predict your opponent's moves and dodge when you can. Hit me. Really? That was kind of pathetic. See? You time it just right, you could dodge your opponent like crazy. Certain moves, certain stuff you cannot sidestep, you have forced to backflip like that. See? His kicks do like a 180 hit. So they kind of turn and still hit you. So there's certain moves you're forced to backflip. Those, when he's about to throw a punch, you can sidestep like I just did. It's all about learning how to fight your opponent. Same when you hit them. They're usually special. You can just sidestep all around them and toy with them. See? Oh, I did too slow. Cause this is a computer, I can literally just do the spamming thing. When it tells you to use a substitution, don't use it as soon as you get hit by a punch, a kunai, or a move. Time it wisely when you feel like you really have to sub. If you have a good healer, you shouldn't have to be worrying about subbing. So many of you guys sub as soon as someone comes by and farts in your face. I don't know why you guys do this, but a lot of you guys are like that. After using the jutsu, you can take a moment to think and plan your counterattack. Exactly. But don't use your jitsu or subs. You can nearly sidestep. I don't know why people don't do this. I do this all the time. I'm a ground fighter. See how he sub right away? It kind of makes sense with his health being low. Come here and hit me. See? 
It's all about timing. You could literally dodge like almost anything. Oh, I was trying to do a hard hit. I didn't think he was gonna come flying. Let's go to sleep. And if you guys have any questions about this, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you want me to give you other type of good guides, combo guides, moves, which ones are the best used for depending on situations, because I know how to run a lot of classes, even though my main class is a healer class. Oof. But yeah, guys, that's all I want to show you in this video. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, rage, hit me up in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, I just wanna be the greatest Everybody knows my name, shit I'ma have this whole fucking game list Spitting with the same wit And I'm gonna be famous Ain't nobody able to delay this Yeah, I just wanna be the greatest Yeah Man, I just wanna be famous Yeah